am going to try to make soap for the first time, but I am, I got a whole bunch of goat milk from my neighbor, uh, and I was going to try to make goat milk, uh, Castile soap, and I got the recipe over there from the Hoger Supply Company, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, HogerFarmyard.com. Um, I was supposed to have some dry ice, but I put it in the fridge and it didn't last. So I am probably going to burn this milk and you're going to see this video a little bit later when I get some more dry ice. But let's see. The recipe I have over here. Can I focus? There we go. So on the, um... On the article, she says to substitute the water quantity for the milk. So, I am going to need 148 grams of milk. I have my little scale over here. Just got it at Walmart, 15 bucks. There we go. Zero in, so it thinks that it's zero. There we go. Hundred and forty-eight grams. Oh, it's more than I thought. Close enough. 150. So now the next thing I need the light. And it's 63 grams. I'm going to stop the video for this because I don't want to make a mess and burn myself. Here, I'll record the video of you burning yourself. How's that? Thanks. I have vinegar right here and it's open. In case I burn myself, I can just dump it on me. And then all over the floor and all over the whole thing. Do we have adequate ventilation? Probably not. 63. You're supposed to mix it because it's going to get hot and it could scald the milk, which is why I think I might not be able to finish this today because I might scald the milk since I didn't freeze it. But we don't have a freezer, and I ran out of dry ice. Well, oh, it's very strong. I'm gonna open a window. Be right back. Okay, whoa, whoa. Why is it turning yellow? What's that going? What's going on? I have no idea. That's probably the reaction I was waiting for. <clears throat> and I'm just trying to make sure that I'm mixing it really well. And I still have to put more. 63 grams. I'm at 39. Trying to add it slowly to prevent it from burning, but it is turning kind of brownish. Well, yellow actually, really yellow. People said that the weird smell is normal, so let's go with it. If it turns, they said if it turns yellow, it's fine. If it turns very dark brown, it's not very good. So, 61, how many do you need? 63, there you go. Alright, 63, that's all the lie. And I'm closing this before I make a mess. Whoa, it's hot, I can feel it. Can you see the condensation? Oh wow, yep, it's steaming up. Look at that.
I'm going to take it from the top of the scale because I don't know if that scale can get hot. Good call. So I'm going to be stirring this until it cools down again. So I can add the extra virgin olive oil. Back in a couple minutes, hopefully. So, <clears throat> it's not totally cooled out yet, but it's cool enough that I don't, I'm not worried, too worried about it burning the milk. Um, so it's, the tutorial says it's supposed to be a paste, but it's still pretty liquidy. But let's leave that alone, and I'm going to weigh out the olive oil for the Castile soap. And that is 500 grams of olive oil. I got the organic one from Costco. Yep, USDA organic. And I got raw honey, but I don't know if I'm going to try with the honey on the first time I, I make my soap. Because this is the first time ever I've made soap. You can do it. Yep, next time I can. Okay, so 500 grams of olive oil. Oh, that's a lot. Yep. Should this... Goat smell keep on being stirred or? Uh, you can stir it for me if you want. There we go. 510. And then. Close enough. <laughs> That'll be our secret recipe to 10. <laughs> uh, the tutorial says to use a strainer because some of the. This would should be a paste, and some of the crystals would not have been dissolved. But I don't think my giant strainer will do much. But let's do it anyways. Move the scale out of the way. This here. And drop it in. It completely dissolves everything. Yeah, and that thing really sort of stayed foam. over there, so. Alright then. And now I'll just mix this. They use the uh, immersion blender, but I don't have an immersion blender here at hand, so I'm just going to stir it. And I'll let you guys know when it reaches trace, whatever that is. <laughs> See you in about like 45 minutes. So Mort wants me to add some oil to it. So we're going to use this bergamot. Um, I am not really sure how much oil I should put. So I'm just going to add a few squeezes. That was five squeezes. It's about 25 drops a piece, so 125 drops, I guess, or so. So I believe it's supposed to look like this, which is pretty like whitish looking, and it seems to be forming like soap. So I am going to keep stirring. It's looking good. So, I've been mixing this. Yep, I gave up and I put it on the KitchenAid mixer. I've been mixing this for about two hours. Two hours. And it's still not in trace. I've been reading about it. And it seems like the olive oil mixture is harder to get in trace. It's a lighter trace. The color seems pretty milky. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Uh, it's already like almost midnight. I want to go to bed. So I'm just going to pour it and see how that goes. 
I have a whole bunch of these dollar store silicone molds that I love getting. And I also have this one. This is an Ikea heart one. And this one is just plastic. But I'm going to pour whatever I have left in there. So I'm going to cut here and do this because I don't want to make a big mess. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Terrible lighting here, but just an update. This morning they have a little bit of trace. You see that thing right there? It stayed. So it's kind of like a goop consistency. So I'm hopeful maybe tonight or tomorrow morning I might have a little little soaps. Well, they still need to cure for like four to six weeks, but they would look like soap. So, this is what we took out of the mold like yesterday morning, and it still broke, but I left it here for a little bit longer, and it kind of looks like soap. So, I'm just going to take these out, and hopefully they don't all break on me. Thank you. Cameraman? No problem. How did you pop these out? Skill. I, exactly like we're gonna do right now. Yep. Just slowly pull oh, the I edges see away. Oh yeah, that's way stronger than the other one. Just that extra day helped tremendously. And now you just push it out from the bottom. Yep, try. Hmm. It looks like there's some leftovers. <laughs> yep. Nope, not yet. Leave it in the mold. Let it cure longer. You think so? I think I do. that's because it cured for too long. Hmm. I have no idea then. <laughs> well, let me try one of the other ones. Other molds, because this one's a more complex one. These are all poured at the same time. Come on. Hey, perfect. Ooh, looks nice. <laughs> all right, so some of the soap may have cured at a better rate than others, or it could just be our bad luck with the mold. What's the next step, Bia? Well, now I just need to let it sit for about four weeks. All right, see y'all in four weeks. These guys uh, took about seven days for me to be able to get all of them out of the molds. Uh, they turned out pretty nice. Let me get like a good flower right here. It's pretty cute. Um, a couple days ago, it hasn't been four weeks since since we made these. It's been about two weeks, but I couldn't wait any longer. So a couple days ago, I got one of these uh, regular ones and washed my hand with it, and it feels awesome. The smell, the the essence that we put in, it was not enough to give a lot of smell to it, but it still makes it feel really clean. And then, uh, when was it Sunday, I decided to make another batch. Uh, this is what I had left over. I just poured it into a, um, what was it, into an oatmeal container. Just for the leftovers. And I have some inside egg mold, egg uh, carton that's plastic. And I put some inside PVC. And we just took those out today. They less. They only took 
two days to harden. So I'm guessing we're getting the recipe closer to what it should be. This new one has oatmeal and chamomile essence in it. So that's it. I'm going to get one of these little guys and wash my hand with it so you guys can see how it lathers. It's a finer bubble, not as like foamy, but it's it feels really clean. So here's the soap. And I got my hands wet here really quick. It has bubbles. It's a soap. The more you do it, the more like slimy it gets. You see how the bubbles are very fine? All clean. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs>